How you going fellas? Um, just going to do a little clip here just to show you guys how to apply a water slide decal. A lot of you guys are using them I know and a lot of guys have a lot of issues with them trying to get them on with them crinkling up etc etc. So I'll just show you the method that, I'm, that I use um, that works for me. So I've got one of the new GR decals here on a water slide paper um, of a bluefin tuna. So we'll get that onto this blank here um, and I'll just show you how I do it and uh, hopefully it'll solve a few issues for you guys if you have any problems applying water slide decals. I'll just soak it in the water here now and just hold it straight, don't let it crinkle up etc. So just leave it like this and I'll just leave it in the water until I see the actual top layer of the decal wanting to come off. So it usually takes about maybe a minute or so um, for that to happen. So, But I know yeah, a lot of guys avoid using water slide decals because they have issues with them but once you master them they are a far better looking decal on the blank than just using an adhesive back decal. They definitely look like they're virtually painted on the blank when you apply them correctly. Don't get any air bubbles underneath them etc etc and once the epoxy is applied um, they look absolutely fantastic. So. I've got some paper towel that I use as well just to dry the decal off a little bit before I apply it just to make sure no water gets trapped underneath the decal. So we're just soaking away here, it's not lifting yet. So it is a little bit of an art to slide them on and etc. So um, I know it's been a lot of years that I've been doing them now and I've sort of mastered the way that works best for me so hopefully it'll help a lot of you guys as well. Okay, I reckon that should be long enough there now. Okay, so we'll just shake a bit of the water off. Now you can see I've cut around the decal as well. I didn't want to have large areas where air can get trapped underneath either. So just a bit of paper towel here. And I'll just dry the back of the decal off. Just get that water away from there. Same here. Okay, now lay the decal in position where you want it to finish up on the blank. So I want it there. Now you can see I've done a, I've coated the area with epoxy first before I apply instead of applying it straight down onto the blank. Okay, I've got it in position. Looks pretty straight. Now I just get my finger there and just gently slide it off. Just let it fall down. Like so. Okay. Now I just need to move it a little bit. Just like that. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now I just get the paper towel and dry the decal off. So I just like to put it on top and you can see the paper towel absorbing all the water. Just like that. Then I get the edge as well and I just push down on it as well just to push any air out. Like so, along the edges, just get rid of the rest of the water. Okay, that's it, perfect.